Hey there everybody, Matt Carter here. And Jessica Carter. This video is our first look and discussion about This Is Us Season 5. It's a long wait. I mean, we have to prepare for that first and foremost. Yep. We are recording this right after watching the Season 4 finale, so we are still in the emotional thick of everything. Yep. We'll go through everything we know right now, but then also we'll talk about a few different things that we sort of want to see explored and are expecting through at least the first part of this season and also the long-term future of the show itself. Yep. Before we dive in, though, if you guys do like this video, be sure to give us a like, subscribe to the channel, and ring that notification bell because we don't want you to miss any other theory videos we have coming. This Is Us may be over, but that does not mean that we are done we will be around to talk a lot of things through over the weeks to come. Yeah, there's there are so many loose threads left from this finale that we are going to have some deeper discussions going on. So it is not over here at the channel. Okay, so let's just start with the really good news. There is going to be a season five. There's no reason to worry or press a panic button about any of that. Last season, NBC renewed the show through season six, which was really crazy at the time, but that's before NBC this year, like, renewed, like, three other shows for, like, that many seasons, too. Yeah, I mean, they're really putting a lot of faith into the show, as they should. This show yeah. is incredible, so. There's no real, there was no, there's no shock that they want to give it a, a long life. I mean, the question, of course, is, is season six going to be the end of everything? I, I, I know we're a little bit divided about this because I, I feel like it probably will. Yeah, and I don't think so. I think that there, I think there are just so many more stories to tell and especially after this finale because this finale introduced so many more new characters to this family that I feel that this show has a lot more juice left in the squeeze. I think that there probably is, and I, th I think they probably could do a season seven. I, I, I think what holding what is holding me back, I guess, is sort of the, the feeling that we're in this era now where nobody seems to want to do any show too long, unless you are a, a long-running crime show like an SVU or an NCIS or a Grey's Anatomy. It feels like a lot of shows are kind of like, you know what? We're good. I could see the creative team being like, you know what? We're good at six. Maybe they'll do a season seven if the actors are all on board and they realize they need a little bit more time. I, I, I just, I can't imagine getting more than seven, but that's just where I am right now. Yeah, I'm not saying I think this is going to be going on 20 seasons or even 10 seasons. I don't think it's going to be that long, mm -hmm. but I can see this sort of rounding out at about, yeah, seven or eight, eight, probably something like that. There's just... There is a lot of story left to tell, and they have introduced these characters now that we're all getting invested in, like baby adult Jack and yeah. his wife, and now there's a sister, and there's just a lot more still happening here. So I just, I don't think that it's over, I, going to be yeah, over at season six. I just don't. I think the the other big question, of course, now is, all right, we know there's a season five. When is season five going to happen? You know, usually in these videos and in articles on the site, it's pretty easy for us to be like, okay, yeah, it'll be back in September, yep. maybe the last week of the month. You yep. don't have anything to worry about. But as all of you know, and you know, not to inject too much real world stuff into these videos, but we're in a pretty uncertain time right now. I would hope that in July, I think that's typically when This Is Us comes back to start yep. filming, that everything will be A-OK. -okay. I know a lot of writers' rooms are already kind of working remotely, so... I don't think they necessarily have to be in the same room together to get a lot of scripts going for the season. If production can start in July, I think we will still hit September. If nothing else, I mean, this is it's going to be back. I think we just all have to stay safe and deal with kind of the present situation and yeah. just look forward to good things in the future. Yeah, I think that they are all probably going to be working remotely, as many of us are working from home. We yeah. are as well. So I think they're going to be able to continue to at least create the stories, get them together, sort of do all the planning so that once it's safe for everyone to go back to work, then they can just be like, okay, we can, we can go. I think one of the things I always like to think about moving into a new season is, okay, what are the new themes going to be? Like, what's some of the stuff that we're really going to be diving into head first? And 
it felt like entering this season, a lot of it was Kevin sort of wanting to be at this different place in his life. And mm -hmm. we saw a lot of that. And now it's with Kevin. He's sort of at this place where Madison is pregnant. I think we're going to see a lot more of Madison, clearly. And we'll get to actually sort of experience the growing pains of this relationship if it becomes something really serious. Yeah, Kevin really wanted change, and he got a lot of change. I mean, he's becoming a bigger star. He's going to be a dad of two children. He is now sort of in this new space with Madison. They don't know each other that well. Him and Randall are not talking. Everything that's going on with his mom, he's really stepped up as far as being a lot more responsible in the family. Kevin has gone on a journey this season, so I think we're going to see a lot more of that happening in season five. And I, I hope we do. I, I hope we see him continue to evolve without losing some of the fun side of him that we've seen through these first handful of seasons. It's going to be a tricky balancing act. I, I, I think I know, well, I know, the, the feud between Kevin and Randall, it's not going away. I said in the reaction, I, I hope that it's resolved by the mid-season finale, just because, and I know you, you don't think, seem to think so. No, I think that this feud is going to be all season long, and it's going to be, there's going to be a really, really deep dive into it, and I think we're going to see a lot of sort of where Kate is going to be kind of landing on this, what's going to actually be happening with Rebecca and this trial, because, mm -hmm. I mean, we see Rebecca at this birthday party where she gets lost and she's brought back to the cabin. So, I mean, in this timeline, shouldn't she still be at that trial thing? So I'm starting to wonder if she's actually going to be at the trial, if the trial's just not going to work, if Kevin's going to yank her out of the trial, Miguel's going to pull her out of the trial. I don't know really where that's going to go, but I think that that, that whole thing about the trial is going to be a lot of the first half of the season. And I think that this fight is just going to continue on, especially if Kevin ends up pulling her out of that trial. I think if, if that happens, I think there's a pretty good chance it could last for a while. I, I, I think realistically, these things take a long time in order to sort of repair themselves. I think I'm wishful thinking a little bit just because I don't know if I have the appetite for a full season of this. I think it was very difficult to just watch one scene of it. It was difficult to hear about it for the first time. I think they'll find a good way to sort of balance it with the future. We did see Kevin put his hand on Randall's yeah. shoulder, so we know that they're going to find a way through it. But, you know, obviously there's gonna they're going to go through it. So I think they're going to... Maybe just balance it out where we'll see little bits of, you know, the hopefulness of the future mm -hmm. to help us get through this stuff. The th other thing that I think we're going to see a lot of is we now know that Kate and Toby are going to adopt. We've seen this future daughter in mm -hmm. the future with baby Adol Jack. Yeah. Ad Jack. <laughs> yeah, we got to find another name for him. <laughs> um, but I think that there's going to be a lot of that going on this season. We're going to see... Kate and Toby's relationship change. They're going to bring in another child into their relationship. I think we're going to see them go through whatever that adoption process is going to be like and everything that's going to happen there. And I think there's going there's there's going to be a lot of stress associated with it. And I mean yep. it's it's admirable that Toby wants to go down this road. I mean, bringing in somebody and giving them a forever home is wonderful. The the challenge of course is just these are two parents who already have, you know, a blind son, mm -hmm. and that requires a lot of time and a lot of attention. And then you're also adding to this, you know, another kid, a daughter. Yeah, and Kate did mention that one of her worries was that their relationship hadn't been that strong lately. So it, there are a lot of different elements bringing in another kid. I, I don't know, can be very stressful, could also help bond them together even more. I think it could. I, I mean, I think it could get worse before it gets better. I, I They want us to think that there's some conflict on the horizon for the two of them. I don't know if we really should buy into it, but I think this process is going to be a big part of season five for them in one way or another. And hopefully along the way, we'll see a little bit more of the new sister, what's going on with her, and maybe check in 
on a few other characters. And I mean, there are certainly some people who were brought up this season or given larger roles that I think we need more updates on. Yep. Malik teased in promotional photos like he was going to be a big part of the finale. He was maybe in, like, the, we didn't even talk about him in the finale reaction. He was in it for about 30 seconds. It was nice to see Deja back, though, man. I, I really like her, yeah. and I like her story, so I hope to see her more in Season 5 as well. Yeah, I think that, you know, <laughs> Malik and Deja certainly a part of it. Cassidy, how much more are we getting of her? Nikki. Nikki. Nikki, I think, is going to have a very big role going into Season 5. I mean, we know that he's there in the future. We've seen him with this mm -hmm. wedding ring. We've seen him by Rebecca's bedside. I think we're going to get a lot more of him being integrated into the family in Season 5. The one thing I need from Season 5, so writers, if you're listening, <laughs> please give us something about Miguel. I need to know how this relationship came together with him and Rebecca and really what that looked like. Because I need to know why he's so, like, quiet on the Rebecca front. I mean, this is his wife. Like, you guys put him together, so you need to give us the story. You can't pretend he's not there. I hope that we get that. I mean, it's certainly something we'll probably talk more about over the coming weeks. Because, yeah, <laughs> I, I think there's a lot of stuff This Is Us needs to do with Miguel and maybe we can sort of piece together some ideas on it because this is somebody who definitely needs more. But in the end, you know, we, we're going to have at least, you know, if these episode orders stay the same length, we're going to have at least 36 more episodes of this show. That's a chance to explore a lot of different things. Yep. I think it's going to be emotional. I think we'll still have a little bit of hope. I'm excited for the future. I'm dreading the fact that it is at least probably half a year away, if not longer. Yeah, I mean, the person that I'm really the most sort of concerned to see going into season five is Randall. And he's just, he said some stuff <laughs> to Kevin. I mean, I know Kevin said stuff too, but wow, Randall really tore him apart. And I'm... Glad that he has Beth with him because I, if he was alone, I'm really not sure where his headspace was going to go. And I'm hoping that Beth can really hold him up because I'm pretty worried about how dark it's going to get for Randall this, this upcoming season. It's going to be tough. And I think what's going to make it even harder is in the wake of him being that sort of like public hero. <laughs> everyone has this sort of perception now that Randall is kind of the local Superman and he knows that he's not. And I think he knows that he's got this feud going on with Kevin. He's in therapy. He's dealing with a lot. There's a chance that all of this could fall apart for him just tremendously. But I think Randall will still come back. And this, this has always been kind of my crazy sort of thinking. That when we see Randall in those faraway flash forwards. I think he's like a congressman, or I think he's I think he's sort of moved up the food chain. I'm not saying he, President Randall Pearson is in the building, there's no Secret Service <laughs> or anything like that, but I think Randall will be going places, and I think the entire family will be proud of him, but sometimes in order to get there, you got to fall down a lot, and we've seen a lot of trips and falls for Kevin. It seems like this is really the time we're going to explore it with Randall. Yeah. But here we are. This Is Us is over this season. Season 5 is coming. Feels like a good time to ask you guys, what do you want to see on This Is Us Season 5? Let us know all your thoughts in the comments. And if you did enjoy this discussion, remember to give us a like, subscribe to the channel, and you can support us further by checking the link in the description to the store. And we'll see you here next time.